Hi everyone. Today in this video I am going to discuss about volume of the sphere and the hemisphere. So let us start the video. So the volume of the sphere is the measure of the space that can be occupied by the sphere. That's it. Okay. So the volume of the sphere is nothing but it's the total amount of the space that can be occupied by the sphere. Got it. Now what will be the formula for finding the volume of a given sphere that we are going to see now. So for that what I am going to do is I am going to consider one sphere and two right circular cones like this and all these three will be having same height and same radius. Okay. Now when you coming to the height of the sphere the height of the sphere is nothing but it's the diameter of the sphere. So the height will be equal to 2R. So the height of the sphere is nothing but it's two times the radius of the sphere. So from this we can tell that when you are taking the cone, the height of the cone should be equal to 2 into R, right? Because the sphere and the cone should be having same height and same radius. Now what I am going to do is I am going to fill these two cones completely with water. And after that, I am going to select one of the cone and I am going to pour all the water inside the cone to the sphere. So it will be like this. I am selecting the first cone and I am going to pour all the water inside this cone to the sphere. And can you predict what will happen? Yes, the water gets filled by half of the volume of the sphere. And this is interesting, right? So it exactly gets filled by half of the volume of the sphere. Now let us take the next cone, which is the second cone and pour all the water inside this cone to the sphere. And we can predict it. Yes, the water will get completely filled inside the sphere. So from this, we can say that the volume of the sphere is equal to two times the volume of the cone, right? because two cones are required to fill the sphere completely. So we can say that the volume of the sphere equals two times the volume of the right circular cone having the same height and the same radius. Are you getting me? So we can say that volume of the sphere will be equal to two times the volume of the right circular cone. So we do know the volume of right circular cone, right? It's one third into pi r square h. So that will be equal to two into one third into pi r square into h is nothing but it's two times the radius. So two into r. So that will be equal to four by three into pi r cube. So this is the volume of the sphere. Let us see the volume of the hemisphere. We know that hemisphere is the half of a sphere, right? We do know that. Take a sphere, cut it into two equal halves, you will be getting a hemisphere. So hemisphere is the half of a sphere. So from this we can easily tell that volume of the hemisphere will be equal to the half of the volume of a sphere. Easy right? So volume of the hemisphere will be equal to half into volume of the sphere. So we do know the volume of the sphere. It's 4 by 3 into pi r cube. So finally, you are getting the volume of the hemisphere is equal to 2 by 3 into pi r cube. So this is the volume of the hemisphere. So the volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 into pi r cube, whereas the volume of the hemisphere is 2 by 3 into pi r cube. To make your concept stronger and stay ahead in our learning journey, join me and other subject experts on Turito app for daily free concept classes. Download the Turito app right now.